Man, AOC literally might be the worst politician I've ever seen in my life. And it's not just because her ideas are Looney Tunes, but it's because the way she just does not understand how to talk to people. She does not understand that you are a representative for your district, but you're also should be fighting for the American people, not just progressives, which means that you should not talk down to working class Republicans, okay, and conservatives. That is just a basic, basic, basic thing that AOC just cannot seem to grasp. She's so caught up on her ideology that she believes is what's best for the world that she fails to understand how to present that ideology to people in a way in which they would at least even think about her loony ideas. And her recent little tweet storm that she had just shows just how ignorant she is and that she propels the stereotype of the elitist Democrat that does not understand anything about working class America. But before we get into that, my name is Greg Foreman and you're watching a black conservative perspective. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective, aka a leftist worst nightmare. You can also follow me on Twitter at GFormanBCP. Let's get it. All right, guys. So our favorite, favorite socialist politician, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, went on Twitter and put her foot in her mouth once again. And this time, she tweeted about conservatives not understanding how difficult it is to be working class. I mean, seriously, guys, that's an insane thing to even contemplate on his face, considering the majority of the Republican Party is made up of very hard working, working class people. But let's take a look at what she's talking about. She tweeted, the thing that these conservative senators don't seem to understand is that I've actually had a physically difficult working class job without good health care most of my adult life. I bring that work ethic to Congress and to my community. They sit around on leather chairs all day. Republicans make fun of the fact that I used to be a waitress. But we all know if they ever had to do a double, they'd be the ones found crying in the walk-in fridge halfway through their first shift because someone yelled at them. For bringing seltzer when they want it sparkling. <sighs> Does she understand that conservatives are the main people when liberals talk about like, oh, wanting free college, free this, free that. She does understand that conservatives are the main ones talking about like, no, I had to work my way through college. Right. I worked doing college and I went to school and I volunteered, you know, and I joined the, the leadership club and I did all this stuff. Or that no, I didn't. I didn't have the opportunity to go to college. I I started a business, right? I worked for my family. You know, I did this. I did that. Conservatives are the ones that literally have built their brand off of shut up and work harder. That is the conservative brand. They they don't they don't give out any awards for doing basic things like oh you as a waitress. And that's not saying that being a waitress is not a hard job. I'm pretty sure it is. But also, AOC has to understand that a lot of people start off as waitresses, right? I bag groceries. I was cleaning bathrooms when I was 16, 17 years old in a grocery store, getting paid $7.25 an hour. <laughs> but you don't see me on my channel ever bringing it up or mentioning it because everybody had to do it. That's, some, that's par for the course. You're doing something that is par for the course and what people have to do, and you think you're supposed to have some type of reward for it or you think it's more difficult than what Republicans have to go through? Like, hey, come on now. I mean, what you're saying is just not only ignorant, it's insulting and it's offensive to a lot of people who've worked very, very, very hard for what they have. A lot of people who started off as waitresses, saved their money, started their own restaurants or started their own businesses and, you know, um, pull themselves up for you to imply that they never had a hard job like being a waitress and that they wouldn't be able to handle it and that they would be crying because they mix up somebody drink or they got yelled at i mean it's just ridiculous 
on his face. She go, So she goes on and she continues arguing with people on Twitter. This seems like what she spends most of her time doing instead of, you know, legislating, which is what her job is. But she responds to criticism of her ridiculous stereotyping by saying that my comments were directed at Republicans who mock my history and service work. That includes President Trump, who you stood by and defended through such attacks, by the way. But if that boorishness doesn't apply to you, then why feel the rush to defend yourself? And I mean, I think she does have a certain point. When I come out the AOC, I don't come out of her uh, history being a waitress. I, I don't do that because, you know, it's one of those things where I, I just think that she has come from a working class background. Right. She was a waitress. She, she didn't have a spoon in her mouth. So, you know, hey, I will never come after her for that. I will never criticize her for that. But I think that what she needs to do is just take it in stride. Right. Take it in stride and just use that to her advantage. Right. But something that is an advantage, she finds a way to misconstrue it and make it a disadvantage because her ability to communicate is just so bad. Again, she continues to tweet. She just doesn't know when to stop. These Republicans who are defensively raised tweeting, but you're wrong. I worked my way through college. Don't realize they sound like folks who speak of the days when Hershey bars were five cents in the general store. College costs have exploded over the last 10 to 20 years and wages have not kept up. It's a totally different landscape. And the fact that they're using anecdotal experience from 20 years ago to reinforce their opinions instead of look at the current cost slash wage data is disturbing. Frankly, they've exploded for far longer than that, too. Again, just another example of just living in her own world, not understanding when to stop talking. Now you go and you tell people who did work their way through college that their experience doesn't mean anything and that their work ethic and their ability to do that is not something that can apply today aoc is right in the sense that college costs have gone up over the past 10 to 20 years and uh the return on investment for a degree has gone down she's right about that she's 100 percent right about that but the problem is is that while she's trying to push these facts she's also offending people while doing it which makes it so people are going to ignore the actual facts that she's talking about and she's stating and they're going to focus more on the fact that she's focused on offending people who are older who worked hard and did what they had to do to build what they have she's more focused on attacking them than she is in terms of trying to get people to understand her ideas and where she's coming from again she is the worst politician i've ever seen in my life she she's just terrible again she can't stop she quote tweets dan crenshaw who was a navy seal right and which he was basically hitting back at aoc for what she said and you can go ahead and listen to what he said these people are nuts it's not just chuck schumer chuck schumer is controlled by people like aoc who believes that the biggest hardship in life was was figuring out whether it was still or sparkling and you don't know hardship until, until you cried in the back <laughs> i was thinking i was like geez i am so glad i did not have to do that in my former career <laughs> that was our biggest that was our biggest problem in the mountains of afghanistan was figuring do we offer them still or sparkling? And what if they don't like it? It's rough out there, man. That's Congress these days. We cannot give these people control. We cannot give these people control. The GOP acts like they care, but behind closed doors, this is what they actually say about the working class. Good to know how little you think of a food worker's Dan Crenshaw. I wonder, do you have catering while bonding with wealthy donors over your disdain for the poor? She don't know nothing about Dan Crenshaw. And again, I don't, I don't necessarily agree with everything Dan Crenshaw says, but if you read into his background, you actually realize that, nah, like this is not the dude to be coming out there with this type of message. What Dan Crenshaw is saying is that you were a waitress, right? And again, it's, I, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. But what he's saying is that, listen, like, when you talk about working hard, you talk about being in the, the mountains of Afghanistan. You talk about being overseas in enemy territory, right? That That's what a lot of people in this country, right? A lot of veterans in particular have went through. You talk about hard work, try being in the military. That's really, really hard. It's really hard when you, you know... In a place where, again, you get your eye literally blown off, right? That That's hard, right? 
And nobody's to say that being a waitress is not hard work, but there's degrees to it. You can't act like nobody's ever worked harder than you have. That nobody's ever had a worse come up than you. And I hate when people play this game in terms of who had the worst come up. Who had it the hardest? I hate that game. Everybody has a degree of difficulty in their lives at some point, right? Most people, 90% of people are not born with spoons in their mouth. 90% of people, for what they have, they got to work for. You know, it's just amazing to me how AOC, who claims to be for the working class, does not understand the working class at all. She doesn't understand how to talk to the working class. She understands how to talk to these, these liberal college students. But she has no understanding of the majority of America, which are older people who some are retired, some are approaching retirement, some are in the middle of their careers. She has no understanding of those people and she has no interest in understanding in those people. And then she wonders why she's so hated. And quite honestly, guys, I mean, I guess AOC is a good thing for us on the right because she effectively is destroying the Democrat Party. That whole squad... Is destroying the Democrats. None of those people have any idea how policy works, how the real world works. They're all ideologues. Every single last one of them. They have a lot of ideas, but they have no clue how to implement any of those things. They are social media politicians. That's what they are. And that's as far as they're going to get as long as they continue to have this type of attitude towards people on the right. As long as they continue to think that people on the right are unreachable and that you shouldn't talk to them, you shouldn't associate with those people, those people are beneath you, as long as she continues to think that this is all she will ever be. And it's just funny to me how this self-described socialist, when it's convenient for her, likes to use capitalism, right, with her little store called the AOC store, which also known as the apparel of communism store that she opens up and she sells tax the rich shirts for fifty eight dollars but you but you're supposed to be for the working class if you were supposed to be for the working class you would understand that the working class cannot afford a shirt that's fifty eight dollars that say tax the rich like what type of what is that the only people that's gonna be buying that are those uh rich liberal New Yorkers and people in the Northeast that were born with spoons in their mouths. Not the people that you claim that you're trying to reach are not going to be buying that. Not the struggling college student. They're not going to be buying that. And they do buy it. They're stupid for buying it. You know, selling uh, free college shirts. and Eliminate student debt shirts for $40, 50 $60. Money that they can put into actually paying down their debt. But oh, capitalism for me, but not for thee. Capitalism to support AOC. AOC got her own brand. She got She's selling her, you know, drink water, don't be racist, stickers. Selling her brand, getting that money, getting that grift, but at the same time telling you that capitalism should be abolished, that capitalism doesn't work, but it works for her. Again, don't pay attention to what these people say. Pay attention to what they do. What they do tells you exactly who they are. And AOC has done nothing as a politician, and she is using capitalism to sell her own stuff. And all she does is talk on social media. That's who she is. So let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.